Hey y'all, it's Anime Kim, and today I am going to be reviewing episode 15 of Carry On Tuesday. And I gotta say, this episode going in, at least in the first half, I was thinking that, eh, I ain't feeling this episode too much. But then in the second half, I was like, alright, this is what I come to Carry On Tuesday for. So, let me, I just wanted to get that out of that way, because... From a story standpoint, this wasn't exactly the strongest Carol on Tuesday episode, if I'm being honest. Because I felt every sequence that had to do with Tuesday's mother, and anything that had to do with her campaign, and talking about things like, say, the Mars, pretty much wanting to not be a slave to Earth, and not wanting much, immig much more immigration and all that. All those sequences, I was like, eh, can they just speed through all this shit? I didn't say that during the live reaction, but I was saying it in my mind. Can they just speed through all this? I just want to get back to Carol and Tuesday just making music and all that. It's literally what I came to this anime originally for. I came for that. And, yeah, that's pretty much um, the gist of it. Pretty much any sequence that involved Tuesday's mother was meh. And anything that involved Carol on Tuesday was interesting. While it wasn't as exciting as previous episodes, it was still interesting. So that's why I flipped this episode from a story standpoint. It wasn't the strongest, but it did enough to still be an enjoyable experience. Let me explain why. Because at the very least, we made plot progression from, at least from the standpoint of Tuesday's mother, because now she made her speech to the public, about all that kind of jazz, about how Mars wants to not be a slave to Earth anymore, and all that kind of jazz. So we made plot progression from that standpoint, and you may have that reporter dude wanting to get information from Tuesday's brother, but he said he's not going to give off any information, and additionally, he says to stay away from his sister. And I love that sequence too, because it even further quantifies, and that bleeds into the character standpoint of the episode too. So, you know what, I'll save that for the character portion when I start talking about it. So, from a story standpoint, at the very least, we made progress from that standpoint. And additionally, what I also enjoy about this episode was any sequence that involved Desmond, where he just wanted to hear Carol and Tuesday, um, not here, but he just wanted to see Carol and Tuesday. And I like how he mentioned how their music is honest and sincere. And that was hella sweet and adorable at the same time. And then hearing Desmond sing, those sequences were really beautiful and they were pleasing to the ears. So I enjoy that too. And additionally, what I also enjoy specifically about this episode was that, for one, you get to see Carol on Tuesday experience the death of like a artist when it comes to making music because like how when they see them when he dies, I like how it feels like it has a bit of impact at the very least, too. And, you even see in this episode some progression in regards to Carol and Tuesday and their goals, where they even explain to each other what their goals are. So all in all, this episode had a, quite a bit of content jam-packed into it that really made it nice and stand out. And additionally, it's topped off with Desmond's death, too, which was kind of sad. Not as sad as like a previous episode where we saw like the whole situation regarding Carol's, Carol and Carol's father, but it was kind of sad regardless. So this episode did have some emotional moments packed in. And from the character standpoint, I think that's where it really stood out. Because for one, you get character development for Carol and Tuesday, because now Tuesday's goal is pretty much just to keep things the way, not goal, but you know, she just wishes for everything to like stay the same and she just wants to keep performing with Carol which was pure and honest and sincere and it fits with her character because with Tuesday she comes from the background of having a lot of things but a lot of things but happiness but now that she's found happiness in the s simple moments like making music with Carol she wants to ch ha cherish those moments and have them forever so that's what really makes that moment really good and it tells you a lot about Tuesday's character and it also you see a lot to not only do you see a lot from Tuesday's character you see a lot from Carol when Carol mentions that she wants to tour the earth and make music with Tuesday and it makes sense when you see her back when we uh, think about her background how 
for at least most of her life, she thought her parents abandoned her. Well, we know that isn't the case. Now Carol knows that isn't the case. But she always hustled, striped, worked hard, worked her darnest. And she has only lived in a poor apartment. So with Carol, it stands to reason why she would want to tour the earth and all that. She would probably want to get to know a lot of places while making music with Tuesday too because it's hella fun. And it stands to reason why Carol would have that kind of goal. And it's a really sweet goal too. So all in all, these sequences show off the growth of our two main girls. And additionally... It gave characterization for Tuesday's brother, which was pretty nice. Because, yes, we know Tuesday's brother cares about Tuesday. But this episode further quantifies it when he tells the reporter to stay away from Tuesday. And that's what also another glorious scene specifically about this episode. And that's what I really loved about it. And, aside from that moment there, I also enjoyed pretty much the... Any sequence that involved Desmond, Moon, his characterization, how when he mentioned how when it comes to music, he wants the music that he makes to at the very least, even though it isn't heard to a wide audience, he wants it to be heard to the people that matter to him the most. And I think that's a really beautiful message in this show where if anyone's like an inspiring artist or even an artist in general that makes creativity that endear that um that pretty much makes their living or just makes creative endeavors for fun, I think that's a good moral message where you shouldn't let it get down to you that you're making creative content and not a lot of people view it. Because if you do that, I think the implicit message you watch is going to weigh down on your conscience. But if you only focus on making content for the people that you care about, or at least your small fan base that you actually do care about, then you're pretty much pretty well off and I think that message doesn't just apply to music and applies to like any other thing too and that's why I think it's a nice message for the series to have and that's what I also thought really made this episode stand out the Desmond sequences just a lot of nice things that can be applied to other facets in life and that's why I thought from a character standpoint it did great and additionally the art animation were good. Not the best animated Carol on Tuesday episode, but still pretty darn good. Especially the sequences where Desmond is singing. And I liked the artwork in this episode too. Like whenever he was singing and right before his final song, before he died, I liked how the light was shining bright. Felt as if it spawned like it meant that soon he was pretty much going to go to the great beyond or heaven. Or whatever belief that anyone has when it comes to a person passing away. And that also made this episode really, really stand out. And it made Desmond's sequence stand out. And the animation art helped elevate a really good sequence. And that's why I felt it did well from the visual standpoint. Like, the directing staff knew, and the animation staff knew what they were doing. The voice performances were great. I loved the music. And that's why, of a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being abysmal, 10 being exceptional, 5 being average, I'm going to rate this a 7 out of 10. I thought it was good. The reason why I didn't give an 8 or a 9 is because I wish it would have pretty much been all about Carol on Tuesday and Desmond. I wish it really didn't go back to the Tuesday mother stuff because it's like, do, do we really need this in this show? Like, how is it going to enrich the experience of the series? And that's the only thing that's slightly worrying me, but overall, I had fun with what I saw. And honestly, I cannot wait to see what's going to happen next week. So anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment on your thoughts and leave us in the comments below. Be sure to rate the video, share it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. All right. Thank y'all so much for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.